one more thing and I'm going to double click twice to get back into the component edit mode within the group and I want to notch the bottom of these posts for a steel flange bracket for holding them down. And so again just grabbing the rectangle tool drawing out an arbitrary rectangle and I'm going to go 6 comma 3 slash 8 to come up with a 6 inch by 3 8 inch notch and by just selecting that box taking the move tool then I'm going to grab the midpoint of this bottom line which shows up with a little blue dot. I'm going to bring it to the bottom of the post and wait till it indexes on the middle of the bottom of the post so I know that the notch is centered on the post. Grab the push pull tool and double click again and you can see how it notched that through there. And I think as long as we're at it let's go ahead and make a quick bracket for there. So I'm going to click once to get out of component edit mode. Now I'm within the post group and we're going to draw a quick bracket here. So we're going to draw a rectangle here and then I want to draw another rectangle down here that's uh, five and a half by three eighths and to get this all I have to do is type comma three slash eight enter and you can see down you can see down the value control box how it made that other rectangle to the size we want. I'm going to erase one line and I'm going to right click this and just going to make it a group. And then I'm going to select that group and go control C to copy it. We're just going to delete it. And now we go back into component edit mode with a double click and then we're going to go edit select paste in place and it puts our group within the component now. It was easier to draw outside the component. Double click into the group, take the push pull and double click that again because it's still remembering the five and a half inch function. And so now we have a bracket within the post. I'm going to slide it out here just so you can see what we created. If I type one zero enter it moves it out ten inches you can look at the bracket all that good stuff and you can see it's pulled the bracket out of the other posts. By hitting the back arrow, I'll get it to go back in the post and just click a bunch of times outside of everything and you can see now that we have all these posts sitting on top of our rectangle. I'm going to take this whole unit here. I selected the group and I'm just going to move it up 3 eighths of an inch so that the posts are sitting on that gray rectangle which might represent pavers or a concrete slab. So it's getting kind of detailed on this post part but um, it's fun to see how with SketchUp we can work through all these details at various points in the modeling process.